the news headline. Good evening. Time is 10 18 p.m. The news headline. Today's headline President Muhammad Buhari sends two bills to Senate. Peter Obi absolves IPOP. Insecurity. Buhari sends two bills to Senate. To boost the war against insecurity, President Muhammad Buhari has sent two bills to the Senate for approval. The bills are transformation, transmission of uh, Explosive Bill 2021 and Control of Small Arms and Light Weapons Bill 2021. Coming at a time Nigeria is facing indulgence of small arms and light weapons by criminal elements, President Buhari, in his letter to the Senate, said that the two bills, when passed, will control the rate of small arms, light weapons, and explosives in the country. And this was a bill passed. Uh, to the House of Assembly, uh, where uh, President Muhammad Buhari had added that the two bills that were sent uh, to them was to boost the war against insecurity, and that the bills are transmission of explosive Bill 2021 and control of small arms and light weapons Bill 2021, coming at a time Nigeria is facing indulgence of small arms and light weapons by criminal elements. And in his letter to the Senate, he said that the two bills. When passed, we control the rates of small arms, light weapons, and uh, explosives in the country. He added that the bill on the control of the small arms and light weapons seek to transform the Presidential Committee on Small Arms and Light Weapons into a national center for the control of small arms and light weapons under the Office of the National Security Advisor. President of the Senate, Senator Ahmad Lawan, read President Buhari's letter dated August 27 as the lawmakers resumed from recess Tuesday. The letter titled, Transmission of Control of Small Arms and Light Weapons Bill 2021 to the National Assembly for Consideration, read, pursuant to Section 58, Subsection 2 of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, as amended, I forward here with the Control of Small Arms and Light Weapons Bill 2021 for the kind consideration by the Senate, the control of small arms and light weapons 2021 seeks to transform the Presidential Committee on Small Arms and Light Weapons into a national center for the control of small arms and light weapons under the Office of the National Security Officer. National Center for the Control of Small Arms and Light Weapons, when fully operationalized, will go a long way at expressing Nigeria's optimism and practical commitment to the global fight against the proliferation of small arms and light weapons, including the mobbing up of existing small arms and light weapons, which have become a significant driver of insecurity across the Federal Republic of Nigeria. In the other letter tied to transmission of explosive bill 2021, National Assembly for a Contribution, the President said that, pursuant to section, uh, section 56, subsection 2 of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended, I forward here with, with Explosive Bill 2021 for the kind consideration by the Senate. The Explosive Bill 2021 seeks to repeal the Explosive Act 1964 and enact the Explosive Act to regulate the manufacture, storage, possession, distribution, purchase, sale, transportation, and importation and exportation of uh, explosives for and for related matters saying that uh, the check of this would actually assist uh, the country in uh, controlling uh, small arms and light weapons being transported into the countries and the rate of the small arms and all these explosives will be checked and uh, at, uh, the, the, the indulgence of Nigeria uh, would actually be able to check into these uh, arms as they come into the country. And also, the former Anambra state governor, Mr. Peter Obi, has absolved the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, of any complicity in Monday's attack on a school in Nemo State, where students writing the English paper of West African Examination Council examination, which is um, Wahek, were chased away. Obi, who was the People's Democratic Party PDP presidential running mate in the 2019 general election, also condemned the attack, describing it as on Ubu, out of place and misguided uh, aggression. Obi, who spoke to journalists, said he did not believe any Igbo man would contemplate attacking innocent school children, more so that 
uh, more so taking their work exams to compete with the rest of West Africans over academic easiness. And also, Boko Haram terrorists have moved to Kaduna. Nigeria sec secret police alert other agencies. The State Security Service (SSS) also called the Department of State Services (DSS) has asked security agencies in Kaduna to brace themselves for likely attack. It is noted that leaders and foot soldiers of Boko Haram terrorist sect have relocated to his forest in southern Kaduna from Sambiza Forest. In a memo seen by People Gazette, the terrorists are said to have relocated from Sambisa Forest in Bono State to Rijana Forest in Chikun local government area of Kaduna. The newspaper quoted part of the memo as saying, a senior Boko Haram fighter, Ibrahim FNU, alongside his foot soldiers, were relocating to join their counterparts under the leadership of one Adamu Yunsu, a.k.a. Sadiku. And this is to say that um, the attack on some YX students in uh, Imo State is actually uh, worrisome uh, after uh, it happened that uh, government on a particular Monday also you know, stopped students at the comprehensive secondary school Unkume in the Injaba local government area of Imo State from taking the English language paper in the ongoing uh, YEC uh, examination. You know, sources disclosed that the students were preparing to begin the exam when the attackers struck and chased them away. And the government shot, uh, you know, students and teachers, including their supervisors, fled away when they heard the sound of the uh, gunshot. An indigenous of the community told the punch that the government set ablaze some motorcycles belonging to some of the staff and students of the school. Although there were no reports of casualties, but a viral video of the incident showed the students and staff shouting and running outer skelter for their lives. The source said that gunmen came to the school and chased out the students on a Monday uh, morning. Uh, they shot repeatedly and uh, you know, uh, they destroyed a whole lot of things, adding that the operatives are taking over the area and were haunting the attackers. Uh, the spokesperson for the state's police command, Mike Abata, said that uh, they were actually on top.